This is so cool. <laughs> there you go. Careful, careful, careful. Careful. No, I can stand on this while moving. You can stand on it, no problem whatsoever. All right, today we're gonna take a look at what we're thinking might be the most realistic golf simulator we've ever experienced. And it's right inside of here. How many simulators do you have here? 22. So many. So many simulators. It's great. Ben. What's up, man? What's going so on? I hear you've got something pretty amazing here. I think you're going to like this. Let's dive right in. Let's this. do it. Let's do it. All right, Ben, I see movable floor plates, uh, automatic ball retrieving, infrared lights. I mean, what is this thing? This is the world's best golf simulator. We have a great experience here with Golf Zone Social, the social element to it, but we also have the most realistic simulators. This is gonna give you the way, the easiest way to get out on the golf course without actually going out there. Between the swing plate, like you mentioned, the high-speed cameras, the incredible graphics, it's just the entire experience. It encompasses everything you want in golf while not actually having to be out on the golf course. I love it, and I even see artificial greenside bunkers and fairway bunkers. Like, this is blowing my mind. Where do we start? So, let's start with the swing plate. So, this green part here is our movable swing plate, 24 directions. So, rather than just having up, down, left, and right, we'll also have our hitting area being in a different slope and a different setup, depending on where you're at on the course. Your ball can be above your feet and below your feet, a lot of different lies. Wow. Also with the turf, the different mats, mm -hmm. we have our fairway mat, light rough, We've got our heavy rough, greenside bunker, and fairway bunker. Thought of everything. Just about everything. We don't have the, the, the tall heather. There's no carpet. Yeah, there's no like carpet on there. But this is gonna, just an, another way to be as realistic as possible. Wow. Gives you all those experiences, different feel off the club face to really challenge you and make sure you're hitting the right shots. I love it. All right, in a second, Ben, we're gonna get to the cameras, the movable plates, and Frank, even we're gonna play a hole in a minute or two. Hang on for that. But first I gotta start, what is this ball reservoir over here? So, auto tee feature. So rather than going to have to pick up your golf ball, reaching down to tee up your ball, we do it for you. It's as simple as just hitting this button here, waiting for that ball to pop up, and then you're gonna have that ball on the tee for you and ready to rock. Stop it. I yeah. love that because you know what? We're paying for the time here. We wanna do things fast. This is gonna speed up your round. All right, I gotta take a shot. All right, I'm sorry. I'm like a little kid here. I gotta take a shot. I'm gonna show you how this works. And then Frank, I'm gonna have you try it too. I'm excited. Let's see it. All right, not bad for the first shot of the day. Not bad. Wait, what is this? What is this? So it's our swing videos. So this is going to save your swing videos as you hit and play. So that if you're working on your game, we can actually go into the system here, bring up your previous videos, look at them, slow-mo, see what you're no doing way. differently. And we can actually compare them too. So we can put them side by side. So you can take a peek at what you did different between each swing, whether it was a good one or a bad one. I love it. You're getting better as you're having fun. Absolutely. That's great. That's good stuff. Frank, you got to try this. All right, so you know what? This is perfect. Now I'm wondering, I'm, as I'm filming and standing over there, I'm wondering, how does it work though? Like, so, as you said, that camera, like, who's, who's filming this? So, we've got our high speed camera system that's tracking everything. So, we is have that one. that this? Yeah, that's this right here. We've got this sensor here, and then we also have this high speed camera right here as well. So, gotcha. we're reading ball and club data. There's no latency, and it's picking up a lot of great feedback that can help you improve. We've got ball speed, smash factor, launch angle, carry. So it's physically measuring the club. Yep, it's, 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 it's using these high-speed cameras to measure that as I come Ball back. and club data. So it's gonna give you where you hit it on the club face, what your face angle was when you made impact, and then it'll go into ball data in terms of spin rate, launch angle, and things like that. So if it's visually seeing the ball, I'm gonna ask the question that I, I know a lot of like you guys ask in the comments, the guys who really are specific, if I wanna bring my own ball, let's say I'm, a, I'm playing a Titleist Pro V1 and yep. I'm used to playing, again, we're as realistic of experience like if we're on the course. If I wanna bring that, can I do it or are there some sort of sensors in these balls? No sensors, this is a normal golf ball. You can pull any ball out of your bag and use it, no problem at all. We actually do have some customers that prefer to use their own balls because it's gonna give you a little bit different reading based on the, the cover and everything like that. That's no problem at all. We so can whatever the do ball that. and club does is what it reads. It's what it reads. I got you, that's very cool. So all right, I'm gonna try hitting one here and then we'll see what we get. Now, the other thing too I wanna to talk about in a minute are these different lies. Absolutely. All right, and we're, I'm sure we'll experience that a little bit on the course, but we can do that here on the range too. Absolutely. All right, so let's hit, hit one real quick and get a feel for it. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I, it's like you were saying, Mike, it's instant. Yeah, no latency. So there's no delay whatsoever. The minute you get contact with the ball, it's already going on the screen. So again, getting as close to realism as we can, that's a huge part of that. We don't want to sit and wait for the ball to move on the screen. It should be going just like it does outside as soon as you make contact. For sure. So let's talk realism. Like I'm here, I really actually want to work on my game. Yeah. Right? I, again, I'm making the comparison of being on the real course. I love the range, but like, what if I want to work on a specific shot? Yeah. What if I like, a lot of people want to work on their wedge game. That's something we've not really been able to do indoors. Yep. Like, what do we got? So we've got our approach practice and we can move over to that area where you can hit wedges and irons, in, even woods into an actual green and hitting to a pin from different distances. So you can work on your distance control and all, all the irons in your bag when you're actually hitting to a pin rather than just not having really a target on the driving range. I'm gonna grab a wedge, let's see. Let's do it. Let's dial it up. Let's do it. This is where the rubber meets the road for me, let's see. All right, so we have our approach practice. You can go anywhere between 30 and 220 yards. So almost every club in your bag. Yeah. We can work on little bump and runs or flops from about 30 yards, and then we can work our way back and you can hit a wedge from like 110 if you want to. So this gives you a little bit of flexibility in terms of the distances you're hitting. So you can really dial in and be specific with what those wedges. What are you wedges. doing there? So <laughs> this is just controlling our distance. These are our control pad, just an easy way to navigate and move throughout the, the different areas and the different hitting areas. So this oh. is just a simple way for the customer to come in or the golfer to come in and be able to adjust this on their own. It's really simple, easy to use. You know, with simulators, a lot of people get a little intimidated on how to use them and don't want to mess anything up. This is so user friendly and convenient that well, it's, that's why it's I great ask, to use. Sometimes like, okay, now I want to practice another shot. I got to navigate through the menu. And like, if I'm here and I'm doing, I'm paying by the hour, I'm on the clock. I want to do it really quick. So let's set up like a, I don't know, like a 80 yard little shot. That might work Whoops. on the thing. So, all right, so let's do this. We're going to go to- Somewhere in that range. Yeah, we're going to go to about 98. How about that? We're going to, so right about hundred yards. So this is going to give you all your data, but then also what you'll be able to see is, is how that ball reacts on the green. So if you're going to hit a high one, that's going to sit and stop, mm -hmm. it'll react that way. If you hit more of a chunk and run one, that's going to roll out a little bit, it'll read that as well. So what I really like to do is, is if I'm trying to hit a particular spin to be able to see how it reacts on the greens is great. And that's another reason why it's so much closer to realism because the ball actually re reacts the way you expect it to when you're on the greens. And that's because these cameras are measuring that spin and inputting that. Absolutely. I gotcha. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Not bad. Not bad. A little nippy right next yeah. to the pin. That'll work for your first wedge like of the that. day. And here's my, here's my, my view so I can see how I, Still using those swing videos on the approach practice, and especially when you're hitting shorter shots, a lot of times people have a tendency to pick up or come out of it. Using those swing videos to really pay attention to where your, where your body is in re relation to your swing is really great too. All right, so now let's show everybody what they're waiting to see. Can you do, because this is something that, forget even just indoor golf, this is something that a lot of golfers are not able to practice, and that's different lie conditions. Absolutely. Because Driving ranges, even outdoor, are 99% flat. So let's say I came to you and I'm like, I got this thing set up and I wanna practice a side hill lie. Totally, we can do it, we can do it for you. So it's as simple as just adjusting our swing plate here. So when we go out on the course, now careful, <laughs> careful, you're gonna feel the move. Hold on, I can stand on this while it's moving? You can stand on it, no problem whatsoever. So when we go out on the course, this will automatically move for us, but when we're on the practice area and we wanna work on different lies, Jeez. it's just as simple as adjusting this right here. So now, that's pretty close to maxed out, but not quite. So now you have that ball above your feet. And this is a huge part of the game and it's really difficult to practice outside. You gotta find the side of the driving range to maybe practice somewhere right. just while you're on the course. Here you can hit 100 shots from 100 yards on a side hill lie and, and be able Where to Where else can you it. do 100 shots with the ball above your feet? You're not can't, gonna be able to. Can't and then do it. What's this here? So light and heavy rough, green side and fairway bunker. So this ball is gonna sit a little bit differently on each of these mats. Um, it's more, or more, most importantly on our bunker mats. So you see on the white one here, this ball sits up higher. Yep. Generally a fairway bunker is gonna be a little bit shallower. The ball is gonna sit up a little bit more. And then when we go to our orange or our green side, you oh, see yeah. that ball sits down. So now we gotta really get in there. You gotta splash it out of the bunker rather than picking it clean like you would out of a fairway mat. So we could practice those on the course, but what I really love to do, especially on this, is when we start feel, you know, understanding, oh, we gotta keep the ball on the mat there. We got yeah. so much slope. Just really understanding what you need to do to, to make sure that you can account for that side hill eye to hit really good wedge shots. So we just made this shot a lot harder. We did. A lot harder. <laughs> <laughs> and I thinned it with it up above my feet. So that's something I could definitely work on. That's a perfect example of it. Uh, that's really cool. So now you're saying now when we make it out to the course, this is going to move. Do, do I have to adjust it like that? Or like 
You don't How have does to this do move anything on? at all. It automatically moves. So the way that we map out all of our courses, it's really detailed, especially with the slope. So the, it, the computer and the game already knows the slope of the course, so that's automatically going to adjust. Also, this piece here is actually independent from where you're standing. So rather than just having one piece moving, this hitting area can be a totally different slope than what you're standing on to really get even closer to what you might have outside. See, that's what makes it more of that realistic experience because we know like lies in real life are nuanced. Oh yeah. You know, you could be, have your feet up at that downhill. So I'm interested to see it. You want to play a quick uh, one hole match and we'll yeah, see what I this looks to, like. Feel this in, in real time. Yeah. We'll so how, just an idea of like, what do you have for courses? I can just go and select as like a bunch of courses. I mean, we, we, we've got close to a hundred courses currently. And we'll have more coming soon. Uh, Pebble Beach, Bethpage, Kiowa Island, St. Andrews, a lot of really good ones from across the world. So it gives you a great variety. Um, like Kiowa is one of my favorites. It's my all time favorite course. Pebble is also dear, near and dear to my heart. Yeah. And that's a really fun one that we're gonna play today. Let's that, do Pebble because we know we're gonna get some weird lives. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's pull up Pebble, give it a try. Let's get rocking. All right, Ben, I'm gonna do a little one hole versus Frank. It's gonna be a lot of bragging rights, so you're gonna have to maybe coach me along. All right, all right. Where, where do you have us? So we got number six at Pebble Beach, one of the more oh, iconic yeah. holes. The Pacific on the right with the giant cliffs, par five. Most importantly, especially when we tee off here, we need to pay attention to our mini map. I was gonna up say, here. what is that up there? Yeah, so this is just your this is your direction. This is helping you align yourself for the hole and get set up properly. So you generally hit a little bit of a cut. Yep. So rather than us aiming straight down the fairway here, we're gonna wanna end up aiming probably right up the left side, more or, like, more or less at those bunkers. I love it. Because especially with this slope here, this is gonna put you hopefully right in the fairway and set you up for a little eagle chance. Ooh, eagle chance. I love it. All right, we got awesome graphics, by the way. You got water crashing against the rocks out there. I feel like I'm actually at Pebble. Let's do this. I want to stay far away from that water, and we're gonna have a really tricky side hill lie out of the gate. You're gonna be okay, Look though. That. That's where the pros hit it. Not <laughs> bad, that was good. Listen, All right. you're safe. You're not in the ocean. You're up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that view. That's nice. Look at that view. The ocean right there. Oh, you got to stay up. That's going to be close. Oh, oh. hang on. Oh, yeah. You're perfect. <laughs> Dead center of the face. Nice I like swing. that shot. It's like a little like watching the tour when they get the different angles. Here we go. Whoa. Look. This is your lie. This is my lie. This is my lie. That's your lie. Yikes. All right. Side hill lie. The ball's below your feet quite a bit. And rather than just being this a left to right slope, you're actually sloping towards this front corner here. So in addition to being a side hill eye, it's now also downhill. And I'm in rough. And you're in the rough and you got to hit up a giant cliff. Uh, we're going to go three wood. We're going to get on the green here. We I love it. We're going for eagles. So I would move this to, let's say here, this one. Yep. We're going to put it right there. Perfect. So you could hit it from the fairway, but it's going to penalize you. So you always want to make sure you put it on the correct surface there. And the, penal the penalty is just a distance penalty. A distance penalty. Right. Got it. So I would suggest we get up this way a little bit. Whoops. Not okay. quite that far. Right up this left side. You should be perfect. Right at the TV tower. Right at the TV tower. <laughs> Oh, and that's the downhill lie. Oh, <laughs> all right. So it's yeah. And now it just gave you even more slope for the next one. Okay. Well, we're here. Oh no. Ooh. All right. All right. We're safe. Not bad. You're good. You're we're safe. safe. You're this up is the hard. hill. This is hard, <laughs> but it's fun. So Here's we got fairway. So I'm allowed to put it here. Yep. Fairway lie. I so got like a slight kind of pitch downhill here. A little bit, not too bad. Where you're really, where you're standing is pretty flat. It's more or less your hitting area that's got you on a little bit of a downhill. Oh, line. that's so. where we see the articulation. Exactly, like yep, yep. So if I'm even thinking about the green, what, what info is it giving me there? So that's your heat map in the top right hand corner. So that's gonna give you the slope of the green. Red is your highest point in the green, blue is your lowest. So that's telling you that this green slopes from back to front. So you can okay. come in a little bit hotter and it's gonna slow that ball down for you. Yeah. And it's uh, good from this distance. That's Absolutely, sure. so you got 200 yards. All right, well, we're gonna hope this hybrid gets up over it. Nope, oh, I topped no. it trying to crush it. I topped it trying to crush it. All right, so I get a penalty here. So this is gonna automatically drop you. You're a little bit closer now. 180 instead of 196. I got a, and I actually have a flatter lie. Yeah, it adjusted bit. that lie a little bit for Let's you. Let's just try again. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look, Look at up that. the last time there. Let's go. Let's go. Why couldn't I do it the first time? Nice shot. Good job. <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. All right, Frank's penalty was a blessing. 94 yards. 
you're 13 feet uphill. So we gotta give it a little extra. Keep in mind, depends on what kind of wedge shot you're gonna hit, because this is gonna react proper, your ball's gonna react the way you expect to hit it, whether it's a spinner or a nice little chunk and run. Keep that in mind, because that's what that's how that ball will react on the greens. Okay. Try to hit a soft wedge here. All right. Let's go. Hey, All we right, can I'm work with that. Ready. Okay. We can work with that. So now, like you were saying, it's gonna to react to what I do as far as spin. So like, if I wanna play a spinnier shot, or in this case, I prefer, I'm going downhill here. Yeah. I have a little nine iron. My idea would be just to get on the green, like act like a putt and let it run down. I think that's perfect. And you can see the contours of the greens here, and this is where you use that heat map again too. This is gonna be downhill, left to righter. So this is gonna be just a nice little tap, get it on the green and let it feed down just towards the hole. let it feed down. So we got it on the, the light rough here. I'm just gonna try to get this little nine iron, just put it on the green. Oh, that's real good. Roll in there. Nicely done. That's a scary yeah. shot to end that up is there. A dicey shot down that. That hill. was great. All right, I'm gonna put this really tight because I know Frank has to putt. I'm curious to see how that works. All right, let's we'll see. Go. It. Too much gas on that, so I'll be putting too. <laughs> You'll be putting I'll too. I'll putt. <laughs> All right, Ben, I need this putt. I need this. So you gotta help me out. First off, what is this laser? So that's our LED putting guide. Okay. So that is simply setting you up just like you would outside picking an aim point or picking sure. a target to account for the break. That's what that's doing for you. So this is helping you based on looking at our shot here, we've got a little bit of a right to left shot. So that LED light is actually set up a couple inches right of the ball so that hopefully when you hit this putt, that ball will leave the swing plate over that LED light and then you should be on the perfect line to make the putt. I love it. Now talk to me about distance control. What are we looking at with screen light? Okay, so the putting is incredible. We have to keep in mind the slope and break to these because pebble, the slope is crazy. So this right. one, we have a 30 foot putt, but it's almost a foot downhill. Yeah. It's quite a bit. So we're gonna be soft on this. The best thing about the putting is everything is red on impact. So that ball doesn't have to get all the way to the screen for it to read. Okay. Instead, the minute you make contact with that ball, it's already going on the screen and it's already captured all the data that, it's ne that it needs. So even though we have a 30 foot putt here, we only wanna hit this probably about 15 feet. So 15 feet from where you're hitting is just short of this screen here. So we wanna hit this ball so it stops just before it gets to the screen. Sounds easy enough. Let's see. Got my laser dialed in, direction, aim. Pebbles greens are fast. They're fast. Oh, that's a really good putt. Look at this. Look at that. I mean, with that lag, you're, you're hired. You're up, man. Make it rain. <laughs> Never doubt. No Ooh, cash doubt money. About it. Look at that. Now, if I could get that penalty stroke back, it would have been a heck of a hole. <laughs> Did that feel just like a real birdie, a bogey out on the course? It did. Yeah. That felt like just I was out on the course. On. I know. Speaking of which, I know we didn't get to experience it, but I got, I'm looking at this. I got to try it. Can you put us in a bunker? Absolutely. Put Let's us in a it. bunker. I want to hit from this thing. Yeah. Because I've never hit from a bunker in a simulator before. Okay. Let's do it. We're going to pop it in here. So now that ball's sitting down. So we want to hit this just like you would hit a bunker shot outside. Sand first, then the ball. Make sure we're accelerating through it because that mat will grab your club. Just like outside, if you catch too much sand, that Jeez. club's gonna get eaten up. You're serious, huh? Yeah, let's see it. So 20 yards. Technology, here we go. Oh yeah, dude. How realistic Not is Not bad, that? not bad at that all. I was like taking sand out. Right. Ben, this is awesome. Just, I know a lot of people are gonna be curious now about like they wanna try it, they wanna experience it. Like, so how? So. Galson Social, we have two locations currently. Uh, West Nyack at the Palisade Center, and then also our Scarsdale location right on Central Ave is open as well. So come in, give us a call, book online, um, come in and enjoy the most social experience in golf. We're really excited for people to come in and experience the space. It's a totally different feel and impression that you get walking in here. We're really, I mean, you get the wow factor with the simulators. We really think people are gonna be really impressed and have that wow moment when they walk through the doors too. Yeah, and you guys tell us, does it live up to the hype? Because it does for us the most realistic indoor experience for all the reasons we showed you guys here. It's really incredible. And what I still can't believe is, this is only one, like Ben said before, there's 22 of these in this building. So you have plenty of reasons and plenty of chances to try it. Go check it out, Ben, thanks so much. Thanks so much.